Today is July 28th, the feast of Saints Nazarius and Chelsus, martyrs, Pope Victor I, also a martyr, and Pope Innocent I, confessor. The readings will come from Wisdom 10, 17 to 20, and Luke 21, 9 to 19. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the Book of Wisdom. And she rendered to the just the wages of their labors, and conducted them in a wonderful way. And she was to them for a covert by day, and for the light of stars by night. And she brought them through the Red Sea, and carried them over through a great water. But their enemies she drowned in the sea, and from the depth of hell she brought them out. Therefore the just took the spoils of the wicked. And they sung to thy holy name, O Lord, and they praised with one according thy victorious hand. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Gloria tibi Domine. And when you shall hear of wars and seditions, be not terrified. These things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet presently. Then he said to them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be great earthquakes in diverse places and pestilences, and famines, and terrors from heaven, and there shall be great signs. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, dragging you before kings and governors for my name's sake. And it shall happen unto you for a testimony Lay it up, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before how you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to resist and gainsay. And you shall be betrayed by your parents and brethren and kinsmen and friends, and some of you they will put to death. And you shall be hated by all for my name's sake, but a hair of your head shall not perish. In your patience, you shall possess your souls. Laus tibi Christe.